What's up, YouTube? Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk for a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna post this as the beginning of the next video or what. I might just post this, to be honest. But right now, I was just working on some schoolwork, and it got me thinking. Like I was just sitting here thinking about different things. Sorry, I'm trying to set up my camera in a way where you can see me. I guess I'll just hold it. I'm not going to cut this video or anything, but some kid came up to me in the gym today and I was hitting, I was hitting push and he asked me, he was like, he was like, why are you doing two sets? Why are you only doing two sets of that? That's pointless. And I was like, I was like, well, it's not really pointless because I've, I was on a, I was on like the cable incline press type thing machine that I like and he was asking me he was like why are you doing that like just two sets it's pointless and I was like I don't feel like it's pointless because like I, I, I got that real deep stretch and I came up and I felt like a good contraction and everything and I was like after that second set what I do I had 20 kilograms each hand was that 42 pounds almost, but, I don't know, he was like, just kept saying, he was just like, oh, that's dumb, that's dumb, and I was like, I was like, bro, everybody's, everybody's body reacts a little differently, and I just want to, I just want to talk to you guys about that, because what everybody tells you to do is not always going to be right, sure, there is a science to certain things, and that's what we're pursuing as bodybuilders and stuff. We want to get a better understanding of why our bodies react these different ways to different exercises and supplements and all that. But bodybuilding isn't an exact science because, because of your genetics. That's really the main reason because like everybody's body, because of their genetics, everybody's genetically different. Everybody's going to because of their genetics, react differently to different exercises and different forms of time under tension, range of motion. I have terrible range of motion. I bet you guys can see in the video, people are always tell in like any of my videos, people are always telling me I'm doing half reps, but dude, I've had so many injuries from trying to go farther down and it's pu it puts me out of the gym for a couple days and I just, it's terrible, you know? Like I, I want to go to the gym every day. I don't want to go to the gym and have a really good one productive workout a week that's stupid that's not how you grow it's not maybe for some people some i personally don't take rest days i mainly because i don't like the way i feel when i just sit at home all day i'll be honest about that but i don't know ever since i started working out every day i haven't i haven't taken a rest day in a while i mean like i took a rest day a couple weeks ago because I was just hurt it was leg day and I was like I woke up and I was like oh my god my butt hurts like I couldn't even walk I tried to take like some painkillers and just relax for the day until nighttime and I was like I, it got to like eight o'clock I was like I can't I can't my legs were hurting so bad so I just did like school all day but I went to the gym the next day and hit legs even though I still didn't feel the best but you can't push it off that far but I just wanted to get that out there. Like, everybody reacts differently to different things, and their your body's gonna react differently than mine, and everybody else's. So don't fitness influencers or really anybody, exercise scientists, take everything they say with a grain of salt because when it comes down to it, your body is different. It is. That is proven that is one of the only scientifically proven things in bodybuilding that everybody's genetics are different and i mean you can even go look at studies in every study there is a genetic outlier like yeah this guy took creatine and he put on 15 pounds of muscle in three weeks but everybody else only put on five you that happens guys and i'm sorry to say it but yeah maybe your genetics are just screwing you or Maybe you haven't found 
Not necessarily that your genetics are screwing you, but you just haven't found what works for your genetics. So that's why I always push you guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the camera died. What I was saying is pu push yourself to do new things. You should. Also, just finished this ghost energy. So I gotta add it to the shelf up here. Let's switch it with this rise can. Push it here. Oh my goodness, just look at that. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> Alright, but back to the point. Everybody's different. Try new things. That's how you make progress in the gym, by trying new things and finding what works for you. And, I mean, like, I've been thinking about this for the last two days because me and my boys were talking about it and Lindsay on the way to crumble. <laughs> uh, but, no, it's, uh, there's just so much misinformation out there. And not even misinformation, it's just people don't really understand the literature of when you look at studies and stuff. People just don't understand it. Like, yeah, you can read a study and, like, read all that, but it, t it takes, like, a deeper understanding to really look at a study and break it down and kind of take away from that for something to add to your own training. So what I just recommend is just try new things. When you see an exercise you like on TikTok that looks like it might work or Instagram or whatever, try it. Who cares what you look like doing it? Because here's the thing. Nobody cares what you look like in the gym, guys. And the people that do are the ones that go for like a couple months and then they drop it or they show up every couple days or something. And I mean, people might make fun of you for doing some weird exercise or something, but when that exercise starts to work for you and you get a massive amount of gains from it, people are gonna say, wow, that exercise works. And that's what happens, I mean, with every exercise that's ever been created. At some point, somebody had to create it and look like an idiot doing it. So just keep that in mind. I don't know what else to talk about, really, so. Look here, I'm probably just gonna end it here. But, have a good one, guys. Stay safe, try new things, and just go for a walk today. Love life.